It said, and the peace of God, which transcends, it rises above understanding, will guard your heart and your minds, safe in union with Jesus Christ. This is the scripture for today. Blessings to everyone. I've been around a lot of men and a lot of young 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 men and a lot of no matter who was in the front of the line, you know, we didn't have the best reputation on baseball at that time. <laughs> but they, they, you know, everybody already know that, so, you know, and, uh, but we wasn't all bad. There was a lot of good. But Lonnell, no matter who was in the front of the line, every day, they already know we was even first. <laughs> now, this is the real deal. He goes over and get in front of the line, and then the boys come and go eat. <laughs> Only two black guys actually did something in, in, in that area when it came down there. I don't know if King remember all the rest of them, but this thing was 600 uh, six, yes. Yes. And uh, it was all about how he did it. And, stuff. and he did it quick. He did it fast. Yes. To God be the glory. Yes. To God be the glory. I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. We was coming up. Lonnell was like a brother. He stayed in my house so much. Yeah. And one thing about I know about Lonnell, I wasn't really scared to fight or nothing like that. You bother him again? Oh, here come Lonnell. Don't bother him. Yes. Thank you. I'm talking about, he wasn't nothing to play with. Yeah. But well, he, yes. he was a good man. Yes. He was a good man. And I'm going to miss my little brother. Yes. I call him my little brother. Yes. Because I'm a little bigger than him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> in ways that people don't realize, that people don't understand, that people don't understand. And I won't tell a couple of stories of experience that Lionel taught me. I won't tell that story. <laughs> Lionel taught me to take care of myself. Lionel taught me to really know who I am and let no one else judge me, dictate how I behave. He was for sure irreverent. He cared less about what anyone thought of him, <laughs> and he would be very definitive about what he thought of you. <laughs> um, but he had an amazing way of showing his love. It didn't always come out in a way that said, I love you, but it was always a way to say, I got you. Yes. And that was my uncle. And I love Teddy Pendergrass to this day. <laughs> to this day. I listened to Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes since the day that I heard that he left us. Irreverent, incredibly smart, and absolutely happy. Thank mm -hmm. you.